code Rory gets you 10% no, off. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. If anything, code, you could Rory, imagine, though. code Rory gets you free pre-workout from your friend because he's nice and he brings you pre-workout. This is like the version of someone on the street with like a sign saying free money, but they're saying free pre-workout please for my workout. This is Rory. But anyway, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. For any of you guys that are new here, my name is Levi. Today's video, I'm gonna be taking you guys through how to put on muscle while also doing cardio. I feel like there's this weird misconception out there that you can't do cardio and put on muscle. And I'm here to break that today and show you guys how it's possible and how I've been able to do that in my past. Today, we're hitting a little bit of back and biceps. Rory finished bumming that free workout. How was it? It's good. I'm already cracked out. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, dang. Whoa, he's cracking out. The first thing when it comes to putting on muscle and also doing cardio, and I've referred to this many times in other videos, is you're gonna want to do your weightlifting first compared to doing your cardio first. And the reason being is because you are gonna have a much more accelerated rate of putting on muscle if you weight train first because most of your energy is gonna be going to your weightlifting. Obviously, if you have more energy to put into your workout, you're gonna get better results, vice versa with running. Not saying that you can't put on muscle as well if you're gonna continue to run first, but the acceleration of how fast that you put on muscle is gonna be slowed down if you run first. So essentially after your workout, Whatever workout is, your glycogen levels get depleted and then they have to refuel with more fuel, but they're not gonna refuel as much as they did compared to your first workout. So you're gonna be a lot weaker from that second workout and not have as much energy. So that's why I always recommend weightlifting first. Gosh, I sound like SpongeBob breathing when he's like freaking out about something every time I'm trying to give you guys like a tip in the gym or something. <laughs> Also, you guys probably see me wear this in a couple other videos. This is a Kill Bill design that I have dropping. I don't know when. It's pretty dope. This is gonna be definitely the final product. If anything, I might make this a little smaller. Um, but other than that, this is something that's coming in the future. But good workout today. One thing that I wanna end off with really quick, putting on muscle and doing cardio at the same time, or running, whatever your cardio is, is I wanna to continue to train super hard in the gym. I think there's like another misconception out there that if you're doing cardio and you're training in the gym that you can't continue to push as hard as you used to before you were doing cardio, which is just like a weird misbelief out there. I think it kind of ties into the whole like cardio kills game thing. I think it's more of a mentality sort of thing, kind of like how if you tell yourself you're tired, you're gonna be tired. Or he says that all the time about LeBron James. LeBron James! But it is true, like if you think a certain way, you're going to act that way. So if you think like, oh, cardio is gonna make me weaker and stuff, you're probably going to act that way. So continue to set goals for yourself, continue to push yourself to that next limit while you're lifting because we're all gonna hit plateaus. And it's your job to overcome that and push and try to reach that next potential level to put on more muscle strength, whatever it is. LeBron James! <laughs> I totally forgot about that. I don't know how people do bubble letters. Like, this this looks like a five-year-old drew it. Like, literally what it says up here. Like, my five-year-old five looks like a five-year-old drew the bubble letter for the five. But anywho, we're gonna go over maintenance calories, surplus calories, and deficit calories. And I'm gonna give you guys a good understanding of what all of those mean. You kind of probably already have a good understanding of what it means, especially if you've been following my channel but I wanted to put it up on the whiteboard and explain it a little more thoroughly because it's gonna be very crucial for the next suggestion that I give you guys with doing cardio and putting on muscle. Also, we're gonna start including the whiteboard in so many more videos, especially videos that are a lot more informational because 
I've come to realize that whenever I do informative videos, I try to explain it to you guys. And one of the things that I realize is that I'm not a good auditory listener, so I'm probably not a good auditory explainer. That doesn't mean that I can't explain things with words, but just trying to come up with it just in my head makes it harder for me to explain. And I know probably a majority of you guys aren't auditory listeners. You guys are probably a lot more visual, hence why you're on YouTube. So that's why we got the whiteboard. Plus I like writing out because it makes it easier for me. And visual learners are the best learners and auditory listeners suck. Enough fuss with the whiteboard and everything. So five-year-old calorie explanation. Essentially what this means is that I'm gonna explain this to you guys in a way that a five-year-old could understand it, or in other words, how I could understand it. So maintenance calories is what we're gonna be starting off with. So what is maintenance calories? Maintenance calories is something that we all have. We all have a maintenance caloric intake. And if you guys have no idea how to find it, there's literally a calculator online that gives you your approximate maintenance calories. I'll link it down in the description in case you guys wanna use it, in case you guys don't know what your maintenance is. So what is maintenance calories? In other words, how do we get to this maintenance? So. Let's just say, for example, your maintenance calories based on the calculator is 2,300. Well, what we're gonna do to get maintenance, which maintenance essentially means that like we're just gonna remain steady, is we're gonna take your 2,300 calories that you intake throughout the day, and then we're gonna burn 2,300 calories to get maintenance. Like we're not going up, we're not going down, we're not losing, we're not gaining any weight. But I do wanna say this, you can gain weight and maintenance, in other words, you can gain muscle mass, especially if you're pushing hard in the gym. What will happen over time is your maintenance will increase because your body is putting on muscle and it's gonna demand more food from you. So just be like cautious of that over time. So that's what maintenance calories is. Surplus calories is when you have, you know, a surplus. So let's just say that you're continuously burning 2,300 on a day average, and now you're starting to consume 2,700 instead of the 2,300. Well, now you're gonna have a surplus of 400, and your weight is probably going to go up. Maybe you'll put on a little more fat, maybe a tad bit more muscle than you would in maintenance, but not by much at all, really. That's surplus for you. It's when your body is getting exceedingly more than it needs. And then deficit literally means the opposite of surplus. Your body isn't getting what your body is demanding of it. So let's just say you're continuing to burn 2,300 calories every day, and you only intake 2,000 calories. Well, now your body is in a deficit, and it's saying, hey, we're not meeting the requirements that the body demands. We're gonna be losing weight now. So I hope that made sense. Again, it was for a five-year-old to understand. If I couldn't get you guys to understand it, I failed my job. But now let's get into why this is important. You guys might be wondering, what correlation did any of what you just said about the calorie stuff behind me have to do with the next tip of suggestion? It has everything to do with it. And the next tip of suggestion is going to be eating in a caloric surplus. Now, why do you wanna eat in a surplus? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm gonna go through it again anyway. So. Remember deficit calories means that we're not gonna be fueling our body with what it needs. So let's just say again that we had you know another 2,000 calories for the day, but then we ran on top of that and burned another 5,000, not 5,000, that'd be like insane, you'd probably die. But let's just say we burn another 500 calories, right? And now we're at 1,500 calories of intake for the day. That will put us at a deficit of negative 800. So that's even a bigger deficit, not putting on any muscle or size in that, just losing weight. So the opposite of that obviously would be to do a surplus. So I used my actual maintenance number right here. This maintenance number right here was calculated on the website that I gave you guys down below. It also accounted for the calories that I burned during my weightlifting. So in other words, it's saying I need to have 2,650 calories every single day if I'm going to be weightlifting. So let's just say I have 2,650 calories that I need to meet, right? Well, if I need to meet that to you know maintain my physique or put on size, I obviously need to eat in a surplus because if I didn't, let's just say I didn't and I had 2,650 calories again, and then I burned that in a day, which would be maintenance, and then I had cardio on top of that, and let's just say I burned 600 calories during cardio, I would only have 2,050 calories for the day, which means I didn't meet the maintenance of 2,650, but if I ate 3,200 calories and I burned 2,650 during the day and then I also burned 600 from my cardio, that would give me zero, which would be, again, maintenance. So if you guys want a simplified version of that, just eat in a caloric surplus that is going to override the amount of calories that you burn total in a day. Oh, 
Hey, what's up? Well, well, hold on. While you guys are here really quick, I want to show you guys something really quick, which is Ketone IQ. And first off, thank you to Ketone IQ for sponsoring this video. But if you guys don't know what ketones are, they are an energy source that would otherwise be derived from the liver if you guys ate a very fatty food. Because when your liver breaks down fat, it derives ketones from that fat to use for energy, for a workout, for whatever it might be. The great thing about Ketone IQ is that you don't have to eat anything to get those ketones from it. So you just drink it and you go. And that's exactly what I'm about to do on my run, which I'm gonna see you guys for in just a second. Got the Sakanis on for today. Now, to me, the Sakanis are honestly a better long distance shoe, even though the Mach 5, the Hoka's I wear are also a distance shoe. Um, these are as well, but I just prefer these ones for distance. Like, I like the Mach 5s for anywhere from a mile to 10 miles. I like these ones for anywhere from 10 miles plus up. Personal preference, so yeah, I don't know, it's just personal. Don't take it personal. But this is the kind of weather we got today, man. Literally, this has been the entire marathon prep. And I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but yeah, I'm still on the marathon prep. I know I kind of did like my final video on it, but now I'm on the taper. I just feel like the journey has finally really come to an end because I only have a few more runs after this, but we're about to get going for a run. We just had a little snack. Without further ado, I'm gonna shut up and get going. I really don't wanna run today. Just the weather is bothering the living crap out of me. I honestly think this weather messes with me so much mentally. And I, I feel weak saying that, but it does, man. It just, it sets me in an offish mood, but there's no perfect time to do a run. So we might as well just go do it now. We can't wait for it to get sunny because it's not around here. Almost a mile in. Yeah, bro. We just finished up five miles. It's gonna take a while, and my GoPro's about to die, but we did it in 40 minutes and 10 seconds. So that's always nice. You know, a little fast run, average pace, 802. A little slower than a couple days ago, but I wasn't really going for a fast time. I was just going how my body felt. So feeling good, feeling good. just drank a uh, chug jug from Fortnite, and now I have 50 shields, 100 damage. Just down some hydrate by Transparent Labs, getting our electrolytes in. It hasn't been, I mean, it's been cold, but it hasn't been as cold as it previously was, so I've been sweating a lot more. So definitely need refilling those electrolytes if you guys want to save some money. Get some electrolytes, Cody Levi will save you 10% off at your checkout. Now the next thing I want to talk about in reference to putting on muscle while also doing cardio is you need to allow, I would say, two to three meals in between each workout or in other words, like in my previous video, I said six plus hours and I can't remember what video it was, but I've made reference to this before. The reason being is because it kind of refers back to what I said in the beginning with, you know, restoring your glycogen levels and whatnot. So this tip right here is more so for the people that are going to be running first, because I know even though I suggested weightlifting first, people are going to still probably run first because that's what they prefer to do. Allowing yourself that two to three meal or six hour interval in between your training period, it'll allow your body to refuel on glycogen. So when you go to lift weights for those people out there that decide to do cardio first you'll have a lot more energy to input into your workout compared to if you know you just waited like an hour after your run to go lift or like two hours after so definitely refuel so that your weight lifting is worth the while i might be wondering why i grabbed the bible right now and it's because it's actually the next tip and suggestion that i'm going to give you i'm just kidding no it's not at all that was a terrible joke god is not even going to laugh at that he wouldn't even find it funny <laughs> but no seriously the reason i grabbed this is because i do devotions before i go to bed 
and I also felt like sharing this with you guys and it's this verse that I was thinking about earlier today and it's from 2 Timothy 1 7 and it's God did not give us a spirit of fear but of love power and a sound mind and I needed that because I feel like lately my life just kind of been like all over the place especially with the marathon prep as some of you guys have been seeing in the other videos school and everything else and I just shared it with you guys because I never know if someone else might be needing that right now. I know I needed it for sure, so I just assume that there's someone else right now probably needing that. Anywho, to get back on topic with the video, the next tip and suggestion that I'm gonna give you guys for putting on muscle while running is getting your sleep. You guys know I'm huge on sleep because it is so crucial to everything related to working out. I have to admit that when I started getting way more serious about my sleep when I was about 19 to 20 years old is really when I started to see the most improvement in my physique. And I believe that's probably a lot contributed to the recovery that I was having from sleep. For those who don't know, when you go to sleep, your body releases the most growth hormone that releases in a whole 24 hours. And growth hormone is responsible for helping your body pair itself. So if you're getting good sleep, your body is going to repair itself a lot better than if you're getting crappy sleep or not much sleep at all. Not only that, but your body is also restoring its glycogen levels when you're sleeping. So that helps to attribute to energy your next day for your workout. So it just helps overall a ton like i said i really started seeing the best improvements in my physique and my lifts when i started getting better sleep not only that you just need the best because your body is so exhausted from running and lifting but that's gonna do it for this video i'm gonna get my devotions in and i'm gonna go to bed but i hope you guys like this video if you guys did be sure you have a like if any of you guys are new here do not forget to press that subscribe button just guys know i will be back because i'm gonna the sky's the limit see you guys in the next one